Hey guys, this is Jacob Goji 2016 here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the NECA Godzilla 2014. So, uh, yeah, I got this guy at Toys R Us in 2014, and, uh, yeah, so let's get started on the review. First, let's start with the sculpt. So, the sculpting on the head, it looks really nice. Just look at that. The sculpting on the head, it looks really good. Well, uh, yeah, and then, and then the sculpting in the mouth, the sculpting in the mouth, it looks really good, like, it just looks more accurate, the sculpting looks more accurate, well, yeah, so that's, that's all for the sculpt, now it's, and then we got, like, the sculpting on the legs, so the sculpting on the legs, they look really good and accurate, but, and it just looks really good, the sculpt. And now let's start off with the detail. Okay, now for the detail. So the detail looks really good. Like, in, in more accurate in the movie. Just look at the detail. It just looks so nice. Like, I just like it a lot more better than the giant size Godzilla. Like, it just looks a lot more better. Like, it just looks really good. Like, do we got the bumps going down over there. And then I just love the spines. So... The detail on the spines, they look really good also, like, like, I mean, it looks more accurate than the SH Monster Arts, in my opinion, because, like, the spines. And then the detail on the, uh, the neck over there is really good, like, I just love the, the, the neck detail, like, it just looks really accurate, like the movie version, and, uh, yeah. And in detail, like on the bumps over there, it looks really, they're like detailed really good. And then the detail on the, the chest, it looks really nice and then more accurate. But like, I mean, it's kind of like lines over there. So it's not pretty that accurate. And then the legs are like sculpted really good and detailed. Like, and, and it's really good how they sculpted the, the legs and, and put some really good detail. So as the feet. Well, the feet looks more, like, accurate than the SH Monster Arts, in my opinion. Well, yeah. Now let's move on to the paint job. Okay, so the paint job in this figure, NECA did a really good job. Like, so we, let's start off. So, so the chest is painted really, like, green, greenish, like... It just, like, the, the paint job, like, it's, like, painted, like, gray, which is really good. Well, I just like the way how the chest is painted green. I mean, gray. Okay, sorry, my bad. And then we got the, uh, the detail, like, on the, right, and the paint job on the legs. The paint job on the legs looks a lot, pretty bluish, because, like, if you, let me get my flat, my, uh, flashlight so I can show you so uh, yeah so as you can see here so it looks a lot more like bluish on the it looks a lot more bluish right here and then and then looks, and there's like more blue over here too which you cannot probably see well it only has a little bit blue the paint job and then the paint job on the teeth they look really good and in the mouth too so uh yeah now let's move on to articulation now for articulation so so the uh jaw is on a hinge the l the head is on the ball joint the neck is on the ball joint the arms are on the ball joint the elbows are on the ball joint the the wrists are in the ball joint. The waist is on the ball joint. The legs are in the ball joint. The knees are in the ball joint. The ankles are in the ball joint. And then, yeah, and the tail. So, this part is on the ball joint. This part's on the ball joint. This part's on the ball joint. And this part's on the ball joint. And then also, like, the... And then there's a bendy wire, but I don't know if there is. So, uh, yeah. Now let's do some size comparisons. 
Okay, now for the size comparisons. First, we're going to size it up to the NECA Shin Godzilla. So, I think this could work because, because I mean, Destroyer is like this tall to Godzilla 2014. So, uh, yeah, I think this is, I think this is probably good sizing. Well, I mean, if you like put Shin Godzilla's knees up, so let me get it up. So, I'll be right I mean, I won't be right back. Alright, so, if you put them like this, and if the stride is like this big, I still think this is a good sizing. So, uh, yeah. I think this is pretty much an accurate sizing, in my opinion, because, I mean, the SH Monster Shin Godzilla is way too big for the NECA Godzilla 2014, because it doesn't, like, size up really good. So, uh, yeah, I think this... This is a really good sizing. Next, we're gonna size it up to the NECA Godzilla 1994. So, I don't think this is an accurate sizing because Godzilla 2014 is supposed to be a little bit taller like this. So, uh, yeah, I don't think this is good sizing. Next, we're gonna size it up to the NECA NES Godzilla. So, now as you see, he this, this guy is really small. Well, if we put him like this, he, he, they can be the same size, and, uh, yeah. So, this is like the NES Godzilla, which I will review soon. So, yeah. Next, we're gonna size it up to the NECA Godzilla 1954. So, this is not a good sizing because Godzilla 2014 is supposed to be this big. Because, I mean, Godzilla 1954 is like... One fifth. I mean, Godzilla 1954 is 50 meters, and Godzilla 2014 is uh 108 meters. So yeah, I don't think this is a good sizing because 2014 is this big. Okay, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.